Acute myeloid leukemia, also called AML, is a type of cancer that results from the production of abnormal blood cells. This is due to certain genetic changes in the cell's DNA, which are often referred to as genetic abnormalities. AML is divided into different types based on how the cancer cells look and the genetic abnormalities. The type of AML can determine how the disease will progress and respond to different therapy options. Age, other existing health conditions and information about genetic abnormalities in the leukemia cells help doctors to decide the treatment that is right for a patient with AML. There are two main systems used to classify AML into types the French-American-British classification system and the more recent World Health Organization or WHO classification system. Here we have concentrated on the WHO classification system which divides AML into the following different groups. We will now go through these one by one in more detail. AML with recurrent genetic abnormalities. There are many different types of AML with recurrent genetic abnormalities. These types are caused by changes in specific chromosomes or genes. Some of the genes which may be affected include the following. AML with myelodysplasia-related changes. This is a form of AML which sometimes develops from another blood cell disease called myelodysplastic syndrome. Similar to myelodysplastic syndrome, the blood cells do not mature and function properly. In addition, the number of leukemic blast cells in the blood is increased. Therapy-related myeloid neoplasms. In some patients, AML can develop after they have received chemotherapy or radiotherapy for another disease. It may take years for a therapy-related AML to develop. Myeloid sarcoma. Normally, AML starts from bone marrow cells. Very rarely, the abnormal blood cells develop outside of the bone marrow in other tissues. These abnormal blood cells can accumulate in any site of the body, such as under the skin, often forming a lump. Myeloid proliferations of Down syndrome. Newborns and infants with Down syndrome can often have abnormal white blood cells. However, these cells rarely cause symptoms and disappear in most cases after some time. Nevertheless, Children with Down syndrome have a higher risk of developing leukemias, such as AML, later in life. AML that is not otherwise specified. Finally, WHO has identified that there are still AML types that do not fit into any of the groups previously described. The classification is most likely to evolve over time. As you have seen, AML is not a single disease it is made up of many different types. It can be helpful to know the type of AML you have, as this can help to select the best treatment options for you. Our goal is to facilitate and improve AML knowledge worldwide. Now that you understand there are different types of AML, why not take the time to learn about the different treatment options which are available? www.no-aml.com Hashtag no AML